Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today is a double feature. But we're going to be featuring the same action figure. Um, so the reason is, um, I accidentally bought this figure twice. I know I could have just returned one to the store, but the world of Halo is all about army building. And I don't mind having two of the Spartan EVAs. Um, I like the EVA costume a lot. I think it looks great. And it's cool because these are red. I'm very fond of the red Spartan armor. Uh, it really takes me back to like the days of like, what was it, Halo 2 with red versus blue. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so for those of you who are new to the world of Halo, uh, World of Halo is a 4-inch scale action figure line. Um, the figures are much smaller than the Spartan collection. Spartan Collection, you're looking at a 6-inch uh, scale action figure where these are only 4-inch scale. Um, this one is the Spartan EVA with Assault Rifle. So the EVA stands for Extra Vehicular Activity. Um, the armor is designed more so for like zero gravity environments. Um, there's extra shielding on the front of the helm as you can see there. And it's a fantastic looking armor. It looks great on the back of the box. Some other figures in this wave. Um, there's Master Chief with the grapple gun. This or the grapple shot. This is how he looks in Halo Infinite. There's the Grunt Mule. There's Frederick uh, 104, Spartan EVA, which we're looking at. Uh, the Elite Ultra. There is Asharum. And then there's Master Chief with the Commando Rifle. Okay, since we're all about army building, uh, let's open up both of these. Um, Alright, so the world of Halo, the figures come with these really cool display stands. Um, uh, there's different like biomes depending on which stand you get. This one's a little bit more like, kind of like a mossy grass with a little subtle dirt. And the display bases are cool. They plug in together. So it's fun for like making dioramas or if you need something to decorate your shelf. You know, these are awesome. These are the redesigned display bases. Uh, you can tell because of the way they interlock and they have exposed um, notches up here. They're awesome. I love these things. So that's cool. Uh, first impressions of the EVA unit while it's still in the tray. Um, love the color scheme. The gray, the black, and the red. It's a nice color combination. The detail is really well done, especially for a smaller scale action figure. Uh, the details are clean, well sculpted. Uh, the rifle looks great. Okay, this is a rarity for me. I have such bad luck with these figures that most of the time my weapons are always bent and warp. But this one is pretty decent. It's not warped that bad. You know, right out of the box, it's pretty straight. Great detail for a 4 inch scale weapon.
Okay, I gotta remove those annoying ties first. Move that one. And then uh, let's get this guy out. Alright, so I have my pair of EVA units right here. Um, really, really impressed with this action figure. Um, again, I love the color scheme. This color combination works really well. If you've handled these figures before, you kind of know what to expect. Um, uh, there's sockets in their backpacks right there. And then there's pegs on the rifles right there. So it's easy weapon storage. These plug in pretty easily. Um, I've had some issues with some of the other weapons where I'm not sure if the peg was too big or if the socket was too small. But, you know, sometimes they don't plug in very well. But these plug in pretty easily. That one holds in pretty well. This one, um, I think this one might be a little too loose maybe. No, it's fine. All right, so let's take a look at this figure real quick. Um, nice details, really well sculpted. The armor design is nice. I like the armor a lot. All right, so front view. Uh, side profile and the back. As you can see, there's double jointed knees. Um, let's talk about articulation. Head rotates. Uh, doesn't really look up or down. Arms rotate, they go out. Um, there is no bicep cut, but there is elbow bend and elbow swivel. Articulated wrists. Um, it rotates kind of like slight rotation uh, mid torso below the breast line. Legs could kick up um, about there, could kick out. Uh, the knees are double jointed, which is nice, especially since with a line that has vehicles. So if you want to seat this character on the mongoose or uh, put it inside of the warthog, you know, having that extra like mobility in the legs really helps. Um, lots of ankle articulation which is awesome. Yeah, overall great figure. I'm kind of glad they have a pair of these. They look kind of badass next to each other. And let's bring out good old Master Chief. Here's Master Chief and we'll talk about the scale. Um, yeah, so Master Chief is slightly taller than the EVA. As you can see right there, let's get stand back to back. Yeah, great figure. All right, um, if I had to rate this figure on a scale of 1 to 10, I don't know, easy 9, um, my first thought. You know, I'm very fond of this armor to begin with. Um, it looks cool. I love the I love the extended, like, shielding on the front. Um, I love the assault rifle that comes with it. Uh, even cooler that the assault rifle, the color scheme of the rifle, is in line with the actual uniform. Great troop builder, you know, if you want to like build up a five-man squad of EVA units, you could. 
Yeah, it looks great. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe. Take care of yourself. Buy lots of toys. And most importantly, be happy. And I will see you at the next one. All right, later.